idyllic landscape, mountains, forests, rivers, authentic lifestyle, preserved traditions, spiritual places, historical sites. What can you expect more from one single region? Today I will show you how it looks like to travel one day to the historical region of Bukovina. But before, if you didn't until now, please subscribe down below. My channel is about life, about 21st century international nomad lifestyle. Join me and we'll have great experiences to enrich our knowledge. We'll explore traditions and habits in different corners of the world and we'll find best places where to feel alive. Bukovina is located in the northeastern part of Romania on the northern slopes of the central eastern Carpathian Mountains. Bukovina is known for its incredible landscape and as a loyal keeper of Romanian traditions. It is also a profoundly religious area with numerous beautiful old monasteries. Dragomirna Monastery is located 15 kilometers far away from Suceava among forested hills and was built in the 17th century. Dragomirna is the tallest medieval monastery in Bukovina and is renowned for its unique proportions.
ziua bună! We are in Romania, Bucovina! Bună ziua, cum dați murăturile? Te preție? Hai că iau niște murături, ce se fac acum? Doamna, she is going to bring the cash machine Here, 20 kilometers far away from Suceava, we'll buy this special, traditional. I will try to see how it is. We have to try. Yeah. Bukovina is extraordinarily beautiful, having a wonderful natural landscape and very well preserved Romanian traditions. The churches and monasteries in Bukovina are in perfect harmony with the mountains, forests and rivers of the surrounding landscape through faith creating a profound communion between the human and the nature. Budna Monastery is one of the most important cultural, religious and historical monastery built and dedicated by Stefan the Great. The Romanian national hero, Stefan the Great, is famous for building churches and monasteries after each important military victory. The Putna Monastery houses also Stefan the Great's tomb and nowadays is a well-known place for pilgrimage. There is considered to be almost 50 monasteries and churches in total in Bukovina, seven of which are included in the UNESCO World Heritage List. 
the Bukovina's old monasteries played an important role along the history to maintain the monastic centers of Eastern Orthodox spirituality. As long as you travel towards the monasteries, you will find a wonderful natural landscape and a meditative atmosphere. Chilia lui Daniel Sihastru, wow! Very cold. Daniel Sihastru was a renowned Romanian Orthodox spiritual guide and advisor of Stefan the Great. He is known as having a solitude life dedicated towards spirituality and retreating himself into a densely forested area near modern day Putna. Mănăstirea Sucevița Some of the monasteries in Bukovina are surrounded by fortified walls built especially to protect against invaders. Artistically, the unique painting churches of Bukovina are unique masterpieces with brilliant polychrome paintings on both external and internal walls that preserve the initial authenticity for more than half a millennium. Oh, a bit cold. The unique monasteries and Byzantine churches of Bukovina are among the most fascinating sites in Romania and I strongly recommend you to visit each time you have the chance. Thank you for watching. 
I hope to inspire you. If you enjoy my video, please give a like, share with others, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment down below and I will reply to you.